I have uh, in front of me a board I put together and it's designed to illustrate a 120, 240 volt system. And it shows what happens when you lose the neutral, which is a very common problem, or at least too common, more common than it should be uh, on residential wiring systems. And uh, the th thing about it is I'm only actually operating at a nominal 24 volt rated systems. So all of this is, is perfectly safe for, for me to work with without wearing any gear or anything. And we'll, in this case, we'll have 26 volts representing 120 volts, and we'll have uh, uh, 52 volts representing 240 volts. And now on your screen, the same drawing should pop up and it's an equivalent of what we're looking at here. You can see I've got, um, the, I've got six, Lamps connected here, connected to the neutral. I have one that's connected across the two, 220, what's the equivalent of 220. I have a switch in the neutral, and you can see that on the drawing, and I have one light I can switch out also. So uh, that will be kind of the basis for it. And instead of one transformer, I have two transformers, but I've hooked them up together in the equivalent of one transformer and center tapped it, just like a 240 volt system. So it should this should behave exactly like a 240, 120, 120, 240 volt system. Um, and you'll kind of see what happens when we have experienced an open neutral. It's really very interesting. So we're going to go in the dark here in a moment so we can see the lights more clearly and I'll operate a few things and then we're gonna come back and explain exactly what happens. So we'll see you in a moment. Okay, we've darkened down the room a bit and I'm going to start using the board in a moment, but there's one more detail we need to discuss and you should see something pop up on your screen. It's an image of me measuring one of these incandescent lamps before we did this experiment. And I, I kind of need to talk about it because it's going to make for some wonky measurements later. But you can see when I measured one of these 40 watt, 120 volt rated bulbs, I ended up with 26 ohms and that's not really what you would expect. So if you see in the, the box, um, I should expect if I do the math on it, where I have 40 watts divided by 120 volts, I, sh I should have 0 0.033 amps of, of current flow. And when I reverse engineer to see what my own value would be, you can see resistance is equal to E over I, 120 over 0.333 amps. You should have an expected resistance of 360 ohms. So the, that's a long way of me telling you you start off at 26 ohms when the lamp is cold, but as the lamp internally heats up, the, the resistance goes up to where it's expected and it reduces the current flow. So you don't get accurate measurements on your ohms until you actually come up to full heat. So uh, I reverse engineered what we'll, come, what we'll talk about later using the current values and, and the, the, you'll see the ohm values are a little bit wonky, but the, the, uh, the basics of what we're going to talk about still apply and it works perfectly well. So I'll set that down and I'm going to turn on this board now. And you can see I have s seven lamps going right now. The one on the very end here represents 220 and it's some, somewhere around 52 volts that's, that's being applied to that right now. The other two represent our connections to the 120 volt side and uh, you can see they're dimmer. And, and that would be our neutral in the middle, and this is each side of our, our, our 240 here. And the interesting thing about that is, in a perfectly balanced load like this, I can open up the neutral, which I will do. I'll open up that neutral, and it still functions just fine, because it's all balanced out, and it's, 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 it's not creating any voltage imbalance. I'll close that again, and I'll switch out one lamp on the very end, and you can see nothing else changed, everything's fine. But once that lamp is open, we have a problem if I lose my neutral. So I'll open the neutral again. The minute I open up this one lamp and drop it out, you can see what happened. These two got very bright and these got dim. And the reason is we changed the voltage balance in what is essentially a series connection and we'll do the drawings and I'll show you that. So you can see what happens. Those go very bright. We have very little here. I can see the glow, you probably can't see it. It does not affect anything on the 220 or the 220 equivalent side. It's only where you have the shared neutral and any voltage imbalance will be downstream of wherever the neutral opens. So when I close the neutral again, we go back to normal behavior. So what I'm gonna do now is we'll, we'll uh, go back into the light and I will uh, bring a couple of things up on the board or excuse me on the screen and we'll talk a little bit about what happened here. 
I'm off screen and before we put a couple things up on the screen, I do want to do one voltage measurement or a, a couple of them to show you what happens when you change the, the, or when you drop the neutral out and you kind of see what I'm talking about. So let's begin uh, by taking a voltage measurement with a normal system. So we're talking about a, an AC output this time, so I'll turn it to AC voltage. And I put measurement points on here. That's what these little wire hooks are for, so I can measure it. So let's take a measurement here. Under normal conditions, with a neutral closed, we don't have an open neutral, going all the way across, you can see I have 52 volts between the two lamps. But on each lamp, I should have somewhere around 26. I have 26 on that one. I don't know if you can see my leads on there. And on the one above, I have 26. They match up perfectly. But now, I'm going to drop the neutral out, and in a balanced load, we should still be the same. I've got 20, 25-ish there. It's a little change. Oops, I hope I can still read that. And then that's 26-ish there. Now we'll see what happens. I want to make sure that you can see that. Now I'm going to open up the switch and see what happens. Now we have a voltage imbalance, and you'll see on the very bottom, I'm showing 37 we're going to call it 38 volts there on the bottom lamp, but on the top, I have 14, well, say 15. So I have 15 now on the top instead of 26 and 38 on the bottom. And what that represents is what would happen in your house if you had an open neutral and you had a shared neutral somewhere downstream. You know, you might apply 180 volts to your TV or you might have only, you know, 30 some volts going to a light. You turn on a switch in one room and everything turns bright in another room and it kind of shows you what happens. And so here, I'm going to get back behind here in a moment and we'll kind of shake out a little bit of math and I'll show you how this all works. The first thing we'll do is we're going to take a look at the circuit equivalent drawing for when we had balanced loads on here. And so up on your screen, this drawing should pop up there. You're looking at the same thing as me. And you can see that uh, at, the, at the, top, uh, uh, the top row of lights, you have 160 ohms for each one and 26 volts applied across each of those. Same thing on the bottom, and they're connected through the neutral. And uh, we, won't have, we don't have to do all the math, but you'll see on the right, uh, it equals an equivalent drawing that shows a sum total of 54 ohms and 26 volts applied across the top uh, parallel branch. And then at the bottom, you have the same thing. And that neutral connection I have pointed out, that's where you end up with two parallel pieces that are connected in series. And so you can see that series connection ends up with 54 ohms on top and 26 volts, and it's completely balanced on the bottom. It's exactly the same. And so the two, 240 works perfectly because each, each, if it was a 240 volt system, each of those is balanced out and it's the proper voltage is being applied to each of those series connections. Now, we'll do the next drawing. will pop up, and it'll show the unbalanced load. And if you take a look at that, you can see I have a big X where we switched out that six lamp, and it changed the, the ohm configuration there, and it changes what happens with the voltage balance. And when you do the math, you, do, you scrunch together the series, or excuse me, the parallel connections on the top, you get 38 ohms now and 15 volts. And when you scrunch the bottom together, you have changed the ohm value on the bottom. So you have 97 ohms on the bottom. And so you're dropping more voltage across there and you ended up with 38 volts across there. It's a dramatic difference. And it, it's basically, you by opening up the neutral, you've created this series connection that will work if it's balanced, but it will not if it's unbalanced. And that's why you get such crazy, crazy voltages. I will also note, my ohm values are different than I was showing on the first page. And uh, you can see the first page, it was 162. Maybe we can show both drawings together for a moment here. And you'll see uh, at the, at when it's, you, you have everything balanced out, I had 162 ohms for the resistors with, with the 120 equivalent, but it's down to 115 uh, on this drawing. And the reason all that changed is because I talked about in the very beginning, as you increase voltage, on these incandescent lights, the current changes, and also the resistance changes, so it's kind of a moving target. Um, but the basics of this is all true in a 120, 240 volt system. If you lose that neutral, you get all kinds of crazy voltages, and it can be very, very difficult to troubleshoot. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and check out the links we have below. 
Come back for new videos. We should be adding content each week. And finally, visit the Taking Measure website.